Jaron Jackson Jr. and Marcus Smart speaks after the Memphis Grizzlies lost to the Dallas Mavericks. Check out the video. I was just missed some shots. It was hard to play defense in the bonus like that, and it was just hard on both ends. Taylor expressed uh, some befuddlement, I guess, about a 44-14 to free throw. What do you think about that? I mean, it's going to happen in a bunch of games. I mean, um, it definitely was plays where you could have looked at the silver lining and looked at different ways it was called and thought a bunch of stuff. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we, we were still up late in the game, so it's okay. Returning to that point, being up late in the game on the road against a tough team like this, are these still learning lessons that you guys can take? No, it's, not, it's just not. You know, like, um, we just can't let that happen. It's not really like a growing pains thing at this point. Like, we just can't, we can't let it happen. Rebounding is on me, and late shots are on me as well. Like, there's just things I could have done to help us. So, I'm definitely owning this one, but uh, you gotta, you just gotta be better. Arsene, um, what are some of the things you guys can learn down the stretch in a game like this as a team, though? I mean, you guys are right in position to do what you wanted to do coming in here and then just finishing out a game like this. Yeah, that's it. Just pace. You know, uh, uh, getting back to our pace. You know, our pace was a little bit slow this game. Um, and, and every time we were able to get in the paint, we got to look. We just got to continue to do more of that um, and, and finish the game. You know, uh, we kind of out there playing not the moves, like just playing the game. And, and that's what happened. I don't want to get you in trouble, but <laughs> the free throws that they shot 44 to what, 14? 30 in the second half, all like 20 in the fourth? Yeah, horrible. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, we got John Morant, you got Jaron Jackson, Dennis Bain driving to the basket, and we only get 14 free throws. I mean, I, <laughs> hey, <clears throat> enough said. I mean, if they don't say nothing, and that don't show you the discrepancy. I don't know what else to do. I mean, it's so obvious. I mean, when a team shoots 30 more free throws than another team, especially when the team that, that only has 14 free throws is the number one in pace and moving the ball and getting to the rim the way we do, and we only get 14 free throws, you got to ask yourself. But I mean, hey, control, we control, and on to the next one. I, mean, I don't think it's about you know what they did last year or anything like that. I think it's a quality opponent, and we know this is going to be a tough test. And I thought you know outside of the first quarter where Luca was on fire, we did a lot of great things. You know, got to a three point game at halftime. We take the lead, we take a double digit lead, and then it just became a foul fest in the fourth quarter. Some things that we can correct, but as I said, I, I don't understand the disparity uh, in the fourth quarter in an NBA Cup game for sure. And, uh, then they hit some threes late in a tight ball game, and we've got a better offensive execution, and that all starts with me. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.